in Hammond, Indiana. I found out I had breast cancer in June of last year. It was a real big shock to me. And been through so many changes. I had to have my breast removed August of 13. And started my chemotherapy a year ago, a few days ago, this month. And I thought I was going to die, actually, but I am still here, and I'm feeling great. My niece, Chaz, actually called me and told me about this place and because I'm a breast cancer or no breast survivor um, that I could get a complete makeover. Everybody has really been nice here. I can't find my song. It's a tune that hung up on the moon and left me behind. I missed it by this much. Must have been out of touch. I missed it by that much. Now my plans have slipped through my hands and messed my mind. I heard about Sorrel through uh, Latino Fashion Week and I actually signed up for the contest online. I believe it was through Facebook if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I was very excited when I won and she was the first person that popped in my mind. My aunt, she actually babysat me as a little one. She taught me to walk and potty train me while my parents Girl, I, I remember when she took her first steps. I was her babysitter. She was nine months old. But um, as the years go by, like I say, I'm 60 years old now and I'm still here. I am healed of breast cancer. And pretty soon, uh, next month on December the 12th, I will be having my last surgery, which is reconstruction. And I'm going to be happy and perky. to get up.
the chemo treatment and then it was 10 days every, every day each day for 10 days to get a shot afterwards and I didn't start losing my hair until like the second week and it was very heartbreaking because I finally had some hair <laughs> I had a ponytail I, I had hair and every day I would go in and to brush my hair to comb my hair and I would just get hands full of hair and it was heartbreaking and especially after it pretty much all came out I, I think my uh, my son could be a barber he's not but he's really good at cutting hair so uh, once most of it came out we got the clippers and just went over it and it is so heartbreaking for a woman to be slick bald that's how bald I was I lost every strand of hair everywhere <laughs> so it was it was really tough it was real tough real tough I almost cried as hard losing my hair as I did when I lost my my breast. It was once they took the bandages off and I, I looked at myself, I would just bust out and start crying. That's, that's all you can do. And I, uh, my neighbor, uh, she's an older lady, I think she's like 70, 77, and she knocked on the door to bring me, um, a, it's a pie that she made, and she brought that. And I had just saw myself in the mirror, and I say, Francis, I don't think this is a good day to visit. <laughs> I said, I'm not very good, you know, because I was so upset. You know, once it just set in, it, it's like, it's kind of devastating. But I'm still here, and I'm doing great, and I feel great.
so grateful for my niece, Miss Chaz Burns, that brought me over here. Uh, this is the second time we came over here, and it's about an hour's drive from where we live at, but I am so grateful. She's a young mother, and I mean, with a, with a two-year-old and a six-year-old, she's been so busy, but she took the time out just for me, and I am really so, so grateful and so thankful that my niece saw enough in me to go through all these changes just for me. experience here. I feel so blessed and so important. I feel pampered and everybody was really, really nice to me. I feel as if I've gotten a, another family. I got another family. Everybody has been wonderful. Everything was wonderful. And I really feel, I, I feel important with all I lost. I, I think I've gained that back and much more. This is great, this has been a great experience.